Hey, so it's 2024 and you want to learn how to use Unreal Engine. In this video, I'm going to cover all of the different best methods that you can use to learn Unreal. They say it's good to always keep learning, so whether you're a beginner or intermediate user, this video will help you advance your Unreal Engine skills. So overall, there are two ways you can do it, free and paid. And you can also combine those two if you'd like to. So in this video, I've compiled a bunch of free and paid ways that you can learn Unreal Engine. Before we get started, I can't go without mentioning my channel. So if you're interested in Unreal Engine, I've got loads of free tutorials and I even have a completely free Unreal Engine beginner course, which you can find somewhere in the link in the description of this video. Also, if you want, I have some paid courses which will teach you how to make full games like 2D platformers, FPS games, combat systems, and more. Okay, so with that said, Let's go over the first best free way that you can learn Unreal Engine, and that is with YouTube. Unreal Engine has a lot of visual elements, creating 3D environments, designing characters, and working with various assets. YouTube provides a platform for creators to showcase their work in real time, allowing learners to visually follow along with tutorials and demonstrations. YouTube hosts a vast and diverse range of content creators, each with their own unique style and teaching approaches. This diversity allows learners to explore different perspectives, techniques, and workflows, helping them find a learning method that suits them the best. Many creators on YouTube also produce comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorials that guide users through specific tasks. This can be especially helpful for beginners who need a structured learning path. YouTube facilitates interaction through comments, allowing learners to ask questions, seek clarification, and engage with the community. Creators often respond to comments, creating an interactive learning experience. This isn't specifically to do with learning, although I have found that watching some devlogs on YouTube can be a real good source of inspiration, which can just encourage you and motivate you to start working on Unreal Engine. For example, Ponty Pants had this great YouTube series where he created his fighting game Punch a Bunch in Unreal Engine. Okay, the next free method we have is the Unreal Online Learning Platform. This offers a systematic and comprehensive way to learn game development. It is designed to be a virtual school where you can choose from various courses that cover different topics and have different levels of difficulty. You can learn from video tutorials, industry tracks, and downloadable tutorial files that illustrate common workflows, new features, and the best practices. You can also test your knowledge and skills by applying what you learn in real projects and challenges. The best part is that Unreal Online Learning is completely free and open to everyone. It was created by the Unreal Engine team themselves, so you can be sure that you're getting the most up-to-date and reliable information. Another good way to learn and get help is on forums such as the Unreal Engine forums, Epic Game Developers Community, or Reddit's own Unreal Engine community, and I even know there is this Discord called Unreal Slackers, which has a bunch of Unreal Engine users. These forums are platforms where you can interact with other developers, ask questions, share your work, and get feedback. The biggest benefit of the communities is that they're not all one-sided like tutorials. This opens up the possibility of targeted assistance with what you have trouble with, stuck on a specific bug, want suggestions on how to improve your project. Unroll users in these communities have your back. They're developers that can discuss troubles or successes, which makes for a good support system and is really valuable. By engaging with the Unroll Engine community, you can not only improve your skills and knowledge, but also expand your opportunities and network. Therefore, it could be good to take advantage of these communities and explore them. You'll surely benefit from them. The next way you can learn Unreal Engine is with the Epic Games documentation. The Unreal Engine documentation is a detailed and reliable source of information for anyone who wants to learn Unreal. It is like a treasure map that guides you through the vast and rich features of Unreal Engine 5, from the basics to the advanced topics. The documentation provides detailed explanations and sometimes video tutorials for every aspect of Unreal Engine, such as working with content, building virtual worlds, designing visuals, creating effects, programming and scripting, making interactive experiences, and more. It also includes code snippets and examples that show you how to implement common workflows, new features, and best practices. The Unreal Engine documentation is constantly updated and maintained by the Unreal Engine team so you can be sure that you're getting the most accurate and relevant information. The Unreal Engine documentation is also searchable and easy to navigate so you can quickly find the answer to your questions and the solutions to your problems. Another way that can really help you learn Unreal Engine is by joining game jams. If you don't know what a game jam is, 
Game Jam's offense where you have to create a game from scratch in a short amount of time, usually based on a theme or prompt. You can join Game Jam solo or in teams. Game Jams are really one of the things you'll gain the most experience from. They are the ultimate test of your abilities. You should think about it in that way. It's your IO. It's the platform that often hosts the most game jam. You can join or form teams with people who have different skills and backgrounds and learn from each other. You can also interact with other participants, judges and organizers and get valuable feedback and support for your game. Also, sometimes there are exclusive game jams for games only made in Unreal Engine. I think every year, Unreal Engine hosts this epic mega game jam and they have some cool prizes which you can win. So I think like last year, they gave away a PC or something. So those are some free methods that you can use to learn Unreal Engine. Now let's move on to some paid methods that you can use to learn Unreal Engine. So the main paid method you can use to learn Unreal Engine is by taking courses. Courses on platforms like Udemy are designed with a structured curriculum guiding learners through a logical progression of topics. This can help beginners build a strong foundation before moving on to more advanced concepts. Courses often cover a wide range of topics from the basics of Unreal Engine to advanced features and game development techniques. This comprehensive approach ensures that learners gain a well-rounded understanding. Many courses are created by experienced professionals and instructors who have expertise in Unreal Engine. This ensures that learners receive high quality instruction and insight from industry experts. Online course platforms can offer community forums where learners can connect with each other ask questions and share experiences. Distraction-free learning. Online courses, because you've paid for them, normally are very focused and ads can't like pop up, so you can just focus purely on learning instead of being distracted. Normally, you can also get much more direct response to the instructor and get a lot more feedback and personal help. Another way you can learn Unreal Engine is by purchasing assets on the Unreal Engine marketplace and studying how they work. This can be a really great way to enhance your learning skills. Marketplace assets are often created by experienced developers. Studying these assets therefore provides you with real world examples of how professionals structure projects, organize assets and implement various features. Incorporating purchase assets into your project helps you develop skills related to asset integration, Learning how to import, configure, and adapt assets to fit your specific needs can be a really helpful skill in game development. The Unreal Engine Marketplace also has a wide variety of different assets, including particle effects, environments, and much more. Exploring these different asset types allows you to broaden your skill set. So there you have it. Those are the top places you can learn Unreal Engine 5. Whether you're a serious learner or just enjoy the feeling of being part of something, there's an educational route waiting. Also, don't forget my free Unreal Engine beginner course or paid ones if you're interested in them. You can check them out in the description of this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.